Alrighty, we're doing some maintenance in a beautiful luxury apartment complex. We have an outlet that's hooked up very, very sloppily and it's all worn out. And we're going to take it apart and we're going to rewire it and do the connections the way that it should be. Here in the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, black is live, the white is neutral, the bare, the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors, however you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral, so I'll show you how to replace an outlet. This is a very nice uh, luxury apartment complex. The landlord has a very good reputation around town. He's known as a very good landlord and trusts me doing the electrical work for him. Okay, so we'll unscrew our outlet out of the wall here. So let's see what they did. They got the uh, insulation under the screw head just a little bit on this black wire. And let's see how they did on the white. It's just right up close, it's good. And uh, the only thing is they didn't put a crimp sleeve or a wire nut where the uh, ground goes to the green screw in the back of the box. So we're going to undo this uh, ground wire here and we're going to put a crimp sleeve in here to bring this up to code. And that green screw wasn't even very tight. So we will uh, open this up. Okay, we'll bring this over here a little bit better. They twisted it the wrong way, but I'm going to just continue it the wrong way because it's not going in a wire knot. I'll clip it so it's even here. Make sure our twist is nice and even here. Now I'll put a crimp sleeve on there meant for ground wires. All right, even though these are twisted counterclockwise, it's probably going to be okay since it's just going to be used with a crimp sleeve. But if it was going in a wire nut, I would undo it and twist them clockwise. So you take your crimp sleeve, you put it in your crimper like that. So it looks like that, and I'll show you the other side. Bring it. Bring it in like this until I see the second wire there. I'll squeeze it snug so it looks like that. Okay, so I'll fold this down into the. Uh, so I'm going to put it down here and I'll, I'll make sure it's out of the way of our live wires here. Okay, so we'll look at our connections up here. Make sure they're good. I'm going to, oh, that screw wasn't even that tight. I'll make sure our insulation's not caught under the screw head and it's wrapped around the right way. So I'll just tighten this back up. So we have a good connection here. We'll put our ground wire around the green screw. This outlet's not all that old. Put it around the 
green screw here. I gotta open the green screw up some more. Close around the screw the direction our screw turns. Tighten it up. Okay, so we got a good connection the way we want it there, like that. Okay, now we'll turn it around and we'll check our black wire. Keep our ground down out of the way here. We'll open this up. And you can see the insulation was just up there, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit. I'm going to adjust the loop so it goes, I bring the copper back a little bit further. There, see, I like to have some copper behind there. There we go. Okay, I got it fairly snug so the wire doesn't move out from under the screw head. Tighten it up, and that's what we want right there. So now we can screw this device back into our box. So I'll push this back, make sure our ground wire is staying down away from everything. Centered on the box there. 